Now we're going to look at a site called Danesford. Now Danesford is the name for a an enclosure that Nelly Roach uh, told me about. Now in Wexford we'd normally call these Raz or Raheens and even Nelly refers to them as a Raheen but she always keeps going back to the name that is, that is calling the fort, calling it Danes Fort, which is kind of interesting. And uh, it's a really, really interesting site as well worth a visit. Um, here is the village of Castlebridge. And if you leave the village up by the church, head out towards the town's land of Kilcarrel, it's the first turn on your left hand side. And if you take that turn, the fort is in your right. Now, if we zoom in here, you can see uh, Kilcarrel here. Now, if we click on the historic maps, we can actually see the fort is marked. Um, I visited the site, and this actual site here, I'm fairly sure, is actually just a marl hole overgrown site but well, the actual fort itself is up here um, maybe I, I can be proved wrong in this but I think there was a slight mistake made here uh, because this is clearly identifiable as a, as a square fort um, it's perfectly enclosed um, what also is really interesting is the fact that in this area like the kind of folklore around and surrounding kind of forts and rahines is it saying is that if you see one you'll always count three or you'll always see three and in this case, there was one across here in Ballymore and one further up here. Now, from looking at old, uh, looking at uh, current Google Maps, this one is still available or still, still available to, to, to see. This one I can't find anymore, it seems to be gone. Um, this is definitely well worth a visit. It's, a, um, it's on private land, so you'd have to seek permission to, to, to go in, um, but I'm sure that could be arranged. Um, it's a very, very special site. Um, and there's very few of these kind of square rectangle forts uh, in Wexford that I know of um, that are still remaining. I knew there were some further up the coast in um, Killeen and Cahor and places like that, but they're, 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 they're long gone. Um, so um, Dane's Fort, and you can read all about the story um, in the account above from Nelly Roach. And if you want to have a look around yourself and try to identify further sites that are like this, uh, around the county just to visit osi.ie